Here is the documentation page for schedule library. As usual, we always discuss the the package or library that we are going to use for the relevant task. So schedule uh, package uh, produced by Python is uh, is something that we are going to use for for automating the scheduling, right? So here is how you can install the schedule library. pip install schedule, right? Let me just copy this and let's go to our coding environment. Let's create a new notebook and let's call it scheduling right and here I uh, will paste pip install schedule and before that we have to add an exclamation mark or uh, some people also call it call, call it magic sign right I'm not going to run it because I've already installed it installed it so I'm just going to comment it and if you guys have any confusion, you can find it here in the notebook as well. These these notebooks will also be um, available in the course material, and otherwise you can read it out for the documentation as well. I'll come back to documentation by the end of this module. Now this is how you can install it. First thing, and how can you import it? Um, this is how you can import. It. So import um, schedule, um, and that's about it. That's how you can import the schedule library. Um, schedule library and, and or in some accents it it is called schedule so whatever you prefer either you're you're in UK or USA so the next thing is we we need another library to support this task that is called time library so these we will be playing around with these two libraries that will help us scheduling or automating the scheduling of any uh, given task right so um, yeah, that's about it. In upcoming in upcoming video, we will be writing the complete code. How can we schedule any simple task? And then uh, later on, we'll see how can we schedule a complex task as well. Right. So let me just hit the run button to import these libraries. And yeah, these library libraries are imported. Now, first thing is we need to define a function that we want to schedule. Right. So let's say there is a job that we want to schedule and it is going to be in a function for a for, uh, format and let's say we just want to schedule that it should print the hello word right so the only job that is that we want this program to do is print hello world and we want to automate it right we don't it is very difficult to write a print statement every time right uh, and everyone cannot do it difficult thing so how can we make it easy so first of all we'll write a function and in which we can print the hello world only once and then what we will do is we'll say schedule dot every let's say every two dot seconds and then we'll say dot do every two seconds dot do now here in parameters we'll pass the name of that function that we've written before job right if the name of this function is ABC then you will write ABC over here right two things are done first of all definition of the uh, definition and a description of the function uh, body of the function and then scheduling uh, or maybe binding the function with the scheduler right next thing is we will write an infinite loop that will run always until we interrupt it or maybe we can write an interrupting condition over here inside the while loop so for now let's say it will be an infinite loop right so inside the infinite loop infinite loop infinite loop what we'll do is we'll say schedule dot run underscore pending right so what it will do is it will run all the tasks that are pending right and then what we'll do is we'll say time dot sleep so we'll put it to sleep for let's say one second and that's about it that's about it so it will run this job every two second for forever because this while loop is uh, never going to end right so let me just run it and let's see if it works or not so it is working so it is it, it is printing hello word every two seconds so if I've written I would have written um, five seconds over here so it would have been printing hello word every five seconds right 
so perhaps i can write a count over here that if hello world has been printed um five or ten times then stop it or break the loop or whatever whatever you want to do so for now let me just interrupt the kernel and that's how you can automate any task now um here is an assignment question for you guys uh, previously in previous module we know how to automate sending an email right so now what i want you to do guys um i want you to send um i want you to automate sending an email uh, after maybe after every uh, 10 seconds right so that's your job to do otherwise i'll do it for you in coming video all right so we wanted to um, automate email scheduling right so here we know how to schedule any task and here in previous notebook we know how to send an email by using python right but before that let me uh, show you a few more schedulers so if we go to the documentation part <coughs> you will see that in in the example it has multiple um, different statements for the scheduling for example you can schedule for any number of seconds right for example we schedule for two seconds um, it is scheduling for 10 seconds right you can schedule for any number of minutes you can schedule for every hour uh, you can schedule for every day and specifically inside the day you can also mention that inside the day it, the the message should be sent at this specific time uh, right so these are different options you can schedule it for every monday every wednesday you can schedule for it for every minute and even for specifically for the specific second of any minute you can do it like that right so you can read it out for these statements inside this uh, documentation that is available on pi 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 py pi uh, dot org right now um let's uh, code for scheduling the email right so first of all uh, we have to define a function which is which is going to be let's say define mail and here inside this function we have to write its definition but before that let's um, let's import the code as it is rather than writing the whole code again so let me copy this code and let me come over here and paste this code let's run it great so far we have imported the smtb library and all the multi-part um, all the mime libraries that is my multi-part my mime text and my application uh, probably will not be uh, using this mime application so let's remove it because we are not going to attach any file then my email address then my encrypted password that i uh, told you how to create right the next thing is this whole sms uh, not sms the whole email sending process right let me copy this let's come back over here let me paste it over here now um, this whole process is just creating an email email body right let me remove these two lines because in these two lines we are just attaching a file and in this example we do not want to attach the file right so let me remove it right so here we are binding our our server with the email address and password right so this is this code is going to be for one time uh, code right so the, here we are creating a body for the email right uh, this is my email address in from this is the receiver's email address in to this is going to be subject so let's change the subject let's call it um testing the scheduler okay and then in the message hello sorry for annoying again and again right so this is since we are going to send this message for this email for every five seconds so perhaps receiver is going to be very annoyed so okay and then we are we are just attaching the message with the uh, this text message with the msg body right now this is the statement that actually sends the message so we will just add this statement we'll just we'll cut this statement from here and we'll paste this statement inside our function right that is going to be called by scheduler so let me just run this cell as well and it looks like it is perfectly fine great now inside the mail function right uh, let's call it mail scheduler okay so inside this mail scheduler function i'm calling s which is smtb library object smtb lib object and then i'm calling function send message of smtb lib object and then i'm um, passing msg uh, as an as a parameter msg contains the whole body of the the email right 
Okay, so the next thing is we want to, let's see, what, what is it? We want to schedule it for the timing. Let me just copy this. Let me paste it over here. So I want to schedule it for, let's say, every five seconds, okay? And I want to schedule what? Not job. Now my function name has changed. So I want to schedule um, mail scheduler, right? And then I want to run it in a while loop that is going to run for forever and inside this while loop it will scheduler will, will check is there any pending task if there is any pending task then run it right and then we have um, a sleep timer um, I think we are good to go so before that uh, before we run it let's go to our email uh, sent box here you can see that there are, there are only two uh, emails that we used for testing um, and then let's come back over here let's also print a message over here so let's say print sending dot 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 right um let's run it and also no i think that's about it so let's run it um it gives an error it says that name schedule is not defined okay so yeah i restarted the kernel so i had to import this first right now uh, let me run it again looks like it is it will run it is uh consuming the time of that five seconds so here you can see that sending this print statement is, is executed which means that uh, this email has also sent now uh, this print statement has executed two times which means that the email perhaps email has been sent two times now three times let's go to our email box and here you can see that this email has been sent three times yet if I refresh it now four times if I refresh it after five seconds it must be like five seconds but no let let's refresh it again and here we go you can see that it has this email has been sent five times so if you really want to annoy your friend you can now you can do that but do not tell to anyone else so here we are going to interrupt the kernel so yeah actually goal was to to tell you how can you schedule uh, an email sending now the power of this schedule is you cannot only um, you're not restricted only to uh, schedule an email you can schedule each and everything you want on your computer all you have to, you have to have is a running machine that that should be running the code and that's it so this is going to be an infinite loop so it will be it will keep sending the the scheduled message up till the day of judgment right um, or perhaps if electricity is not cut off so that's about it about the scheduler so far we have covered uh, how can we automate uh, whatsapp uh, and whatsapp has its own scheduler then we studied about email uh, how can we automate sending an email but emails do not have their own scheduler so we studied a generic scheduler that can work for each and everything right now the next thing that what we want to do is we want to see how can we fetch the the information from our youtube channel so that is going to be our next module see you there